My name is Diana Abdulrahman. Um, I am currently the chair of the Peak Organisation, a multicultural organisation here in the ACT, the Canberra Multicultural Community Forum. I'm also the uh, president of Australian Muslim Voice. So my role in the last 25 years in the ACT has been to build bridges right across the board uh, between multicultural community and the rest of uh, the broader community in the ACT. The reason why I say that is there are still pockets in our, our society of people who are pretty much uh, monoculture in the sense that they don't like to mix with the rest of, of, of the community. And of course, Canberra is one of the most multicultural uh, cities in Australia. So it helps when we try and build those links between uh, the various, not only uh, multicultural communities have migrated to the ACT, and those are, st are actually established, but also the faith groups within them too. And I think it's really important. And how do you think migrants do contribute to this society? Well, they contribute at so many levels. I mean, one, if I were to look at, a, at an eagle eye view of Australia, um, if we were to go 50 years ago, uh, what Australia looked like and what it looks like today with the mass migration of so many people from so many different backgrounds, it's actually created a new culture. And when we talk about Australian culture as being this you know, unique place in time, cultures are organic. Uh, right throughout history, people have come together and have created something new, something different. Um, and so what we've done in Australia is pretty much the same. We may have started off with a particular cultural grouping, um, with migration and people from all over the world brought with them their cultural, you, you know, cultural little things that they like to do. We've created a new Australian culture as a result. And whatever it is today, what we call Australian culture today, will yet again change in another 20, 30, 40, 50 years as we again uh, bring in more people from different places. And, and as I said, you know, culture is organic. So we're always going to change. So when people bring in their food, uh, they bring in their, uh, sometimes the way they like to do things, intermarriage is another thing. We start to create this really lovely, wonderful thing called Australian culture today, which is a very multicultural culture. So in other words, migration is an asset, not a threat? Absolutely. Migration is a human phenomena. We would not have succeeded as a human race had it not been for migration. Migration has happened for 50,000 years. When you look at the history of the human race, we came out of Africa and we walked. The reason why we walked and moved was to find better lands with better access to food, better access to water and to safety. Um, and this is the, the key things for us as human. You know, we live in in very uh, sophisticated environment today. Fifty thousand years ago, it was surely the issue of survival to be able to be somewhere where you can raise your children. That's what we did. If it weren't for our ancestors who were successfully moved from country to country, uh, we wouldn't be where we are today. And what do you think, with your experience of working in Australia with different cultural groups? What do we need to do to come together? The name of this campaign is the Together Campaign. What do we need to do? Well, we need to, I think one of the things is to remind us, ourselves, remind each other that at somewhere, if we were able to unpack our ancestry and actually have a deep microscopic look in each one of our ancestry's journey, we'll find that we came from somewhere very different to where we are today and that um, and that even if we went to where we think we come from, if you were to unpack it even further, you'd find that we as human beings actually have spent generations moving. And it was the fact that when a war happened in one place, or famine, or fire, or flood, that we had the ability to move from one region to another, from one place to another, to survive. And that today, the whole idea of people 
giving them the right, and it is a right, to leave a war-torn area, uh, to go somewhere safe. You and I and everyone would do exactly that. And that if today we were to find ourselves in a, a war-torn situation, we'd simply do anything and everything to pack our children, to pack our things, and we would move as quickly and as efficiently to somewhere we knew or at least we understood would be safer. This is what we need to remember. And we need to know that we have to, as our ancestors were given that opportunity to leave and to move and to go somewhere where it was safer, to find food and water and to save our children, we also should afford that same opportunity to others. Thank you. Thank you.